We all know about this book. We use this book every day for our USMLE Step 1 preparation. We study it on our desk, in the clinic, while traveling, and sometimes also while sleeping. But going forward, this is going to change. Welcome to the full length review of First Aid Forward. Hey guys, this is Dr. Subhadram Nani, and I cleared my USMLE Step 1 back in February 2023 when this resource, First Aid Forward, which is recently making the buzz around the USMLE forums, was not there. So we will discuss in this full length review about what is good on this platform, what is this platform, what can be better, and also how I would use it had I been preparing for step one again, basically my workflow. Also, we'll discuss the pricing, how is this platform priced, and who is this platform for? So without much further ado, let's begin. Number one, what is First Aid Forward? So everyone knows First Aid for USMD Step 1 is the best book you can get for USMD Step 1. It is published by McGraw Hill and it is a lesser known fact that there are also two other First Aid books which are First Aid Cases and First Aid Clinical Patterns and Algorithms also published by McGraw Hill and these three books are basically the First Aid books for USMD Step 1. So this platform is basically a digital version of all these three books, but it does not stop there. It has a lot of other features and nuances which we'll discuss further. So first, let's discuss about what is good on this platform, what are its features and what does it basically offer? So first it forward, as I said, has all these three books in its digital version, but it does not stop there. More features about this is basically that you can annotate these digital books and Basically, you can annotate like you would annotate your physical first aid book. So, for example, you can underline, you can highlight, you can make a box or a circle around a word or a sentence you might feel which is very high yield or very important. You can add your own notes like you would add in your first aid physical copy and stuff like that. Like the basic things, basically whatever you can do in the physical version of first aid, you can do also here but there are a couple of extra things which might be better than using a physical version of first aid for example search you know how many times has it been oh you know I, I read this topic in first aid but I don't remember where and then you go to the index which is in the end oh there's Cushing's oh but was this Cushing's of neuro or was this Cushing's of endocrine because I remember there was Cushing's reflex also and then there's Cushing's syndrome, this is Cushing's disease. So uh, basically in the digital version you can have a search tool and you can find whatever topic you had remembered or you want to find very easily. Also a table of contents, a structure which gives a better idea of what you're going to study now and what is going to come if you're reading it for the first time. So it has a mental map before you dive into you know studying the topic. So this is generally about the digital versions of any book, not just first aid. So how is it, you know, this, this digital version be different from any other PDF digital version book you might find? So since it's on an online platform, you don't have to worry about outdated content. You know, people are like, um, you know, I'm taking USMLE step one in 2024 or 2023, but I'm using the 2021 first aid. Is it good? Uh, is it fine? Will I miss out on some high yield points which might be covered in the latest edition? So since you are using it on an online platform, the material provided or the book will always be updated. So you can basically be assured that whatever information is there is the latest information. Now this is about the first aid book, but there are also two others, two other books which I told you about, which are the first aid cases and the first aid clinical patterns and algorithms. More about these three books, how you can use it in my workflow segment, which you can select from the chapter markers, but these are the three books in general. But the most amazing and high yield feature of this platform, which I found to be very, very, very useful is the high yield content outline. So as you can see, you can select any subject or any system and you will see the most high yield topics asked in the USMLE Step 1 exam according to the USMLE Step 1 blueprint. So for example, in endocrine, 
this there's 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency a very very high yield topic and you can just click on the topic and basically go jump to the first aid page and you know read about all of that not only this there are also questions so this is uh, another feature so these are not questions like the nbme questions or the the questions you will find in your u world these are still clinical based questions but these are like simple targeted questions on basically the facts which are present in first aid so this will help you remember first aid better and review first aid better so for example if you have studied a topic in first aid you can just go ahead and do the quiz and you can check yourself you know how did you do and again these questions are very direct and to the point and the whole purpose of these questions is for you to retain the information you have learned in your first aid book of course it offers the explanations and education objective and also why the other options are incorrect just like all other platforms would offer but if you want to review your first aid better i think doing these questions uh, will help uh, in that so basically this is an overview of all the features and the good things and what you will get about uh, if you plan to use this platform for USME step one preparation, but there are also some things which I found that can be better and can be you know improved in this platform. For example, number one, there is no application uh, of this platform, so uh, this is a web-based product, so you will have to you know go to the website. Of course, you can you know bookmark the website, add, add it to your home screen on the phone, and you can still use this platform anywhere you go. As I said, while traveling, while you know, uh, on your desk, in the clinics, everywhere you can take this first aid digital and the whole platform with you. But again, the convenience of an app is something I really enjoy in whatever study tool I use. Another feature I think uh, could be better is that you can uh, for sure add your notes in your first aid but I feel uh, there should be a way to add external images also to your notes in first aid because you know as I said uh, you always annotate your physical first aid you know amazing and a plus point of having a digital version is that you can just take pictures from your you know some internet or your queue bank and directly put it in first aid which you cannot do in the physical version you will have to basically draw it out or print it out but in the digital version there should be this feature to add an external image and i think uh, this can be added uh, because of the student feedback if i if i'm not wrong because first aid they you know they are very closely connected with the students as you know you have a errata section the authors and the publishers they all work together and that's why you know the latest editions of first aid are also based on student feedback so i feel this can be added in the future and also another point which i think that can be improved is that you cannot annotate with like an apple pencil or a stylus or your handwritten annotations which you would you know sometime want so like you want to draw a mind map but all in all i think this is these are very minor things because you can use this platform in support of your physical first aid you don't need to abandon your physical first aid that still remains the holy grail of you know usmle step one uh, review studying but the digital first aid just makes it better and obviously the three books which i'm going to discuss in my workflow of how i would use it and uh, that makes the digital platform much, much, much better. So uh, this is a good segue into how I would use or my workflow of this platform. So you know how a lot of people have Apple products and you know when they buy an iPhone, they are more tempted to buy an iPad, an Apple Watch, a MacBook or something like that. It's like uh, basically Apple ties you in the ecosystem. I feel this platform is something like this. Apple integrates its ecosystem so well that you know you copy something on your MacBook and you can paste it on your iPhone. You draw something on your iPad and you can review it on your iPhone basically. So I feel with this platform, the reviewing part, I would do it like this. So let me give you an example. For example, you are you know, studying endocrinology in the digital version of first aid or like as we call it first aid forward on this platform. And 
you study about this you take in the knowledge what is uh, there in the first stage you understand the concept now you directly jump to the first aid cases book right from there and you can review how this knowledge which you have gained would look like in a question or in a real life scenario and the plus point is this is in a point wise form which you can expand toggle and review your answer so it is like an active recall i would say and the step 3 would be after i have done all the you know system i can see the first aid clinical pattern and algorithm to review what other pathologies are similar to this presentation so because that book is categorized by symptoms and also it gives you a very good differential diagnosis and as you know that differential diagnosis is so 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 important in you know differentiating between those two options which are left while you are answering a question like it's either 11 beta hydroxylase or it's either 21 beta hydroxylase i cannot remember so you know this is where those tables those comparison charts those clinical pearls will come into play and this is how it will make your first aid review or revision uh, excellent because basically you're looking at the same material from three different angles first you are looking directly at the material from the first aid book gaining the knowledge second you are looking at the clinical life scenario or the real life scenario and also testing yourself in those toggle you know bullet points and third once you've done everything the whole system let's say endocrine you're comparing the similar presentation with other diseases uh, in a tabular form and looking at it uh, from a different perspective on top of that you have these quizzes which you can review and basically imbibe that information which is present in your first aid book and after that you can move on to question banks like u world self assessments and like ndme and really test yourself so after this let's come to the pricing so this is how the pricing looks of this platform and most of you i think would fall in the 6 months or 12 months category an amazing thing is that there is a discount on this pricing if you click on the link below and use this code first aid 20 and get a 20% off on this pricing so if you plan to use this platform which is you know making the buzz around the us assembly forum forums and i feel is a great platform for students number one who are preparing for usmle step 1 and are finding it hard to review and imbibe the information present in usmle uh, step 1 the first aid book number two this is also for students who are not preparing for usmle but for you know medical students in general and especially the indian medical students who are preparing for inict uh, this can be an excellent resource because for inict the uh, one of the top recommended books is first aid for your assembly step 1 and if you have this platform uh, basically you are imbibing all that knowledge in a you know as i said from different perspectives and making it more solid this was all about it for the review again don't forget to check out the link and gain your discount by using the code first aid 20 and get 20% off and until then stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine we did it did we so if you like this video and you would like to know more about what to do after you know gaining this knowledge of first aid i think you'll find this video really really helpful which tells you about the self assessments for nbme exams the free 120 the ul self assessment and basically how to test yourself before appearing for the us assembly step 1 and yeah now you can go that's about it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and yeah bye bye